Hi, I'm Dr. Khurram Shokat Yusufzai. In the interesting Pakhtunkhwa channel, today's video is about Shalman Park, Hayatabad. I will explain about this word Shalman, which is very interesting and curious. And I would also tell you who made this park in the 1970s. The word Shalman in the Pashto language is associated with King Solomon, the biblical King Solomon, or Hazrat Suleiman in the Quran who is the prophet of the Israelites. The Israelites were actually, the name Israelite come from the sons of the prophet Jacob in the Bible, or we call it prophet Yaqub in the Arabic. Yaqub had 12 sons, and the name of Yaqub was named as Israel by God, which means that they would worship only one God. In Arabic, it is also called Tawheed. Shalman Park is situated right in the middle of Hayatabad town, Peshawar, and it's named after the Shilman Valley in the Khyber district of Pakhtunkhwa. And Khyber is also a Jewish name, and so is Shilman. So there are a lot of families, Shalman or Shalman in the world found in Israel and America as well. The governor of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa in the early 70s was Hayat Ahmad Sherpao. He was the vice chairman of the Pakistan People's Party along with Zulfikar Ali Bhutto who formed this party in 1967. So he was the one who actually uh, made the Hayatabad town, which is named after this governor. He was killed in mysterious circumstances in the 1975 by a bomb blast in the University of Peshawar. But Hayatabad town was actually the uh, the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa governor, General Fazliak who in the late 70s made this park and along the Hayatabad town because of his hard work and he's still remembered for his good deeds. He was also killed in mysterious circumstances and his assassination was done in 1988 and his killers are also unknown just like Hayat Sherpa. So this Shilman Valley, which is on the F Park border, found on the beautiful mountains, which you can see in the distance. The beautiful mountains are also known as the Himalayan mountain range that divides Afghanistan and Pakistan. So the mountain range, which you see in the distance, is also known as the Suleiman Range also named after the same Prophet Suleiman, the Biblical Prophet Suleiman or the King Suleiman. And it is very interesting that the Pashtuns called Suleiman as Shilman because Suleiman is Arabic version of the Solomon and Shilman is the Pashtun version of the word Solomon. This Shilman is actually associated with the tribe of Pashtuns from the sub-branch of Yusuf Zais called Ahmad Zais and they are also known as Suleiman Khail which are found both in Afghanistan and Pakistan. In Pakistan they are found in Khyber Agency, in Momand Agency, Momand, now they are called Khyber and Momand District as well as Charsadda and Suwat and the Bunir as well. They are also known as Gilji tribes because they are found in the mountains because the other Yusufzais are living out of the mountains. So the people who live in the mountains are also called 
غرزیز اور غلجیز علاودین خلجی اور غلجی was one of the kings from that tribe as well who ruled over the India the Indian subcontinent which comprised India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Burma and you know all these four countries was actually one Indian subcontinent in 1250 AD The Shalman Park is beautiful and it has uh, grounds a jogging track on and there is a canal in the middle and there are pagodas and there is uh, you know like a area for physical exercise and there are swings and slides for the kids as well as there is a fast food area and then there is an area for football and tennis as well which has been added recently such parks are very necessary and in pakistan rules should be passed for mandatory parks and mosques because in pakistan is an islamic country but there is no law which says that when you sell real estate there should be mandatory mosque area and there should be a park area which is so sad that people have not thought about these things even pakistan is so called islamic country but you know people encroach the land to build mosques and parks this marvel uh, of the 70s is one of the best in pakistan even the latest colonies like bahria town defense etc is not at par with whatever uh, fazlak did for pakhtunkhwa and he still remembered for his good deed this is the jogging track which is found on the both side of the canal system the canals are coming from the versak dam which is a dam near peshawar in the khyber district and it provides water to the peshawar there are many dams in peshawar like the khyber dam the kohar dam tanda dam peshawar valley is surrounded by a lot of dams so let me tell you about this shulman valley the shulman valley is in khyber district as you see this is right at the border of the afpak between afghanistan and pakistan because these mountains formed the duran line because the british demarcated these mountains of the himalayan range the solomon range as the border separating the pashtuns into two big parts they divided the pashtuns into two big parts one in afghanistan and one here in current pakistan area known as the khyber pakhtunkhwa province and then the one in the pakhtunkhwa province are further divided into three parts like uh, balochistan khyber pakhtunkhwa then the fata three big divisions were uh, done for the pakhtuns living on this side of the during line this is the location of shilman this similar uh, shilman like which is found in the khyber district is also found in the kurdish areas the kurd baloch uh, living in the sistan province of iran are actually cousins of pashtuns and the baloch are found wherever pashtuns are in afghanistan iran pakistan or syria or turkey they are all together some say the kurds are from the daughter of uh, hazrat yaqub alay salam who married into an arab tribe so they are closely related to the pashtuns the kurds are also known as the baloch in pakistan and afghanistan so this is very interesting like khyber pakhtunkhwa contains lot of israelite names like this name uh, shilman and then i would do documentaries on the other name like for example there is this kohart levi kotal all these jewish names 
और इसराइलाइट नेम वी शुड नॉट से इट इसराइल जूश नेम वी शुड कॉल इट इसराइलाइट बिकॉज बनी इसराइल बिकॉज जूडा वॉज ओनली वन सन ऑफ जेकब और याकूब अलैहिस्सलाम सो आई वुड डू डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज ऑन द अदर इंटरेस्टिंग नेम्स व्हिच द वर्ल्ड डोंट नो एंड माय रिसर्च ऑन दिस टॉपिक हैज लेड मी टू सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट्स दैट माइट शॉक द वर्ल्ड दैट देयर इज सो मच हियर which the archaeologists the historians and the experts on the biblical uh, history and the history of israelites have forgotten because they have not come here because of the um, you know war like condition for last half a century in afghanistan and pakistan area so there is a lot of things in the indus valley civilization which has to be investigated and these names uh like look at the mountain in the distance this is solomon range and this shilman park the shilman world which is so common and it goes uh, links this place to israel and to jerusalem and to the biblical history to to the quranic history it's very interesting and i think the historians and the archaeologists have not looked into this aspect and I, I should be pointing to these facts because nobody is looking at it. So, interesting Pakhtun Khwa will actually highlight lot of interesting historical aspects that would interest the people. The arching. bridge is made up of uh, iron provides connection to the one side of the park to the other side and i hope the government makes it mandatory provision of parks mosques whoever is trying to sell property or is into real estate now we are seeing lot of uh, real estate projects and there are no parks no place for the mosque so um, you, you know the right if <laughs> there are so many muslims and some muslim country why don't they make a law that anybody who sells property should have mandatory mosque and mandatory park mandatory civil, civil amenities like libraries uh, you know playing areas you, you know we should have like Uh, places for uh, the schools you know like why they should make schools inside the residential uh, you know like one canal area or why there should be a mosque encroaching in the parking area because most of the parking areas are being converted for mosque and uh, there is no government uh, controlling these things and the people have given uh, people have been given free hand that okay wherever they want they would make anything So thank you to General Fazlak and to Sherpao for making such a nice park and also the history is also very interesting and I hope uh, the people of the world would look at these interesting biblical names all over Khaibar Pakhtunkhwa you know the name Khaibar is also biblical you know because Khaibar Khaibar means beyond Havar Havar is the Herat river so beyond herat river where the pashtuns were actually near the herat river so when they would see this area they would say beyond herat river so that become la khawar khawar become khaybar so this israelite name is the name of the province as well and pakhtun is actually uh, pakhtun or pashtun is the name which is actually given to the language which the the ten main tribes of pashtuns they speak here like the yusuf zais yusuf zoi means the son of yusuf and then shinwaris and uh, jaduns and the wazirs you know these names are actually the names of the sons of uh, hazrat yaqub alai salam which is called jacob in the bible so that's very interesting and very uh, relevant you know 
so the world this the archaeologist the son should come here and study these things you know because they are not coincidental you know there is too much that is matching the history of the israelites and the bible and the quran you know which are the books of the god and also torah not forgetting you know because the muslims also believe in all the 50 israelite prophets like musa moses yusuf solomon and uh, Jesus you know all are believed by the muslim and it's part of their belief system so the names here are not brought by the arabs they are here because of the pashtuns in the park there is uh, this place for fast food and this is interesting because this fast food area there are two brands like mr cord mr cord is a uh, fast food brand made in peshawar which is now famous and spread all over peshawar and then there is uh, this piali piali means the cup in uh, hindi or urdu so this hindi urdu word piali is also a local brand which sells the kadak tea or the chai so as we say chai ki piali the chai ki piali means the tea cup so the tea cup in you know, hindi or urdu is called piali so this is also the local brand the hybrid uh, electric buses serve this hyderabad town so this is all about the shalman park and its history and its name I hope you like this interesting Pakhtunkhwa video. I would be coming with some more interesting material which people have overlooked and the people of world curiosity I would pick and I hope that you subscribe to my channel for such interesting videos and I hope to see you soon because if you don't subscribe or press like the button you won't be finding my videos among the maze of hundreds of such videos so thank you very much take care goodbye